PROGRESS OF MEDICAL SCIENCE FROM VANITY FAIR, FEBRUARY 18, 1860 THIS IS A LIBRIVOX RECORDING. ALL LIBRIVOX RECORDINGS ARE IN THE PUBLIC DOMAIN. FOR MORE INFORMATION, OR TO VOLUNTEER, PLEASE VISIT LIBRIVOX.ORG. PROGRESS OF MEDICAL SCIENCE A WESTERN CLERGYMAN NAMED H. T. LEWIS Having been attacked by bronchitis, his physician prescribed a situation as conductor on the Memphis and Charleston Railroad, which the invalid straightway took. We learn that he is rapidly running off his disease at the rate of thirty miles an hour, or thereabout. If the final success be equal to present indications, it will be evident that medical men are on the track of a great discovery. It has hitherto been understood that the mission of railroads is to endanger and destroy, rather than preserve, human life. This new development of the law of compensation will be welcomed with delight, even if the restorative power of the railroad should be confined to throat diseases, much will be gained. A mild case of catarrh might be overcome by a few days' duty in the capacity of brakeman. For an ordinary sore throat, a trip or two as firemen ought to operate favorably. A mere cold in the head would simply call for a little service as lubricator of machinery, and in case of accompanying nasal impediment, a judicious application of the same grease to the obstructed member would be advantageous. And so on through the chapter. The arrangement would benefit both sides, for, notwithstanding their characteristic modesty, it is not to be expected that railroad companies could forgo the legitimate opportunities of profit they would open to them. Railway service would command a premium, and naturally enough, advertisements of this description would appear thus. Consumption can be cured. There is a disease whose unrelenting fangs ruthlessly penetrate the sanctity of the family circle, and whose ravages countless thousands mourn. Its progress is insidious. Its effects are fatal to the bodies of its victims and harrowing to the minds of surviving relatives, and its name is consumption. For ages it has baffled the skill of the wise, and ridden its course of devastating triumph. But its day is now over, and its doom is sealed, for consumption can be cured. Likewise, coughs, colds, and catars, and kindred diseases. The Scohegan and Tallahassee Railroad Company beg to announce to the afflicted that desirable situations on their trains are now open at moderate rates. Particulars may be learned on personal application. The attention of sufferers from stiff necks is particularly invited, as there is at present a number of vacancies in the engine driving department, where immovability of head and neck from one direct position is requisite. N.B. It must be distinctly understood that the company refuses to assume all responsibility in case of accident. The company can only undertake to cure or kill. Come and try it, come and try it, come and try it. Terms moderate. Terms moderate, terms moderate. End of Progress of Medical Science Read by Leanne Howlett